I love court. I love court. So good for us. Good for me. Um. Yeah. I'll just make it fun. I'll just make it fun. You always do. I'm in charge. I'll just make it fun. Okay. <laughs> Any special requests? It's core. Okay. <laughs> okay friends let's do the thing so i will mute y'alls maybe actually i don't know if i can today yeah i can't because i'm like technically not in charge since i didn't get on first or something weird i don't know seems weird but just mute yourself perfect and then i'm pinning myself you can pin me if you want if you haven't already i'm gonna roll out my mat you can do the same if you haven't already and then if you have a block or something of the like, grab it, have it handy, and let's start just down on our backs. Go ahead and lay down on your back. And as you lay down on your back, maybe you want to stretch a little bit. Maybe you want to take a full body stretch, arms overhead, legs long. Maybe you want to just kind of give yourself a moment, hug your knees in, a little rock. So just take your time, but eventually, no rush, find stillness, come to rest in any position you would like. So maybe that's just corpse pose. Maybe you're laying in Shavasana. Maybe you want feet together, knees apart, you're on the ground with knees bent. So lots of different options. Same with your arms, one hand to heart, one hand to belly, arms to your sides, cactus arms, whatever feels right for you. And then either close your eyes or if you want, if you prefer to keep your eyes open, try to soften your gaze. So rather than looking around the room you're in with satellite eyes, just let your gaze soften. And let's take big, huge breaths, three big deep breaths together. So next time you inhale, fill up as big as you can. And then when you think you are full, see if you can sip in even a little bit extra. Great big open mouth sigh, let it go. Ah. Let's do that twice more. So inhale, fill up. Pause, extra sip at the top, maybe even two extra sips. And then open your mouth and let it go, side out. <sighs> One more time, biggest inhale you've taken all day long. Hold at the top. See if there's any more space you can find. See if you can get a teaspoon more of air in, sip it in. And then big, huge sigh, ah, let it go all the way to the very, very bottom. Begin to now cultivate your ujjayi breath. So in and out through your nose by way of the back of your throat. So start to create that whisper noise, that oceanic sound with your breath. And start to use your diaphragm. Those muscles all the way down underneath your ribs. So each time you inhale, you want to feel your chest, ribs, belly, upper back, mid back, low back, even your side bodies expand. So every inhale, it's like your torso expands like a balloon, like a 3D globe. Every exhale, it contracts, it hugs back in. So really pay attention become aware and connect to your slow, steady ujjayi breaths. Now as you breathe, just notice what's coming, what's going. Sometimes as I start breathing, I notice emotions more. I notice my frustration or my boredom a little bit more. So whatever's there for you, just notice it. Just become more aware. That's the yoga. That's the yoga. Keep your breath moving and flowing. Hi, Wendy. If you don't mind muting yourself, because I don't have... Oh, no, I got you. I got you. Done. Um, Glad you're with us. 
So keep your breath going, keep it flowing, and then go ahead and just draw your knees in towards your belly and find a little rock from side to side. So give your low back a nice little massage against the ground. And then eventually, after a few of these rocks, just set your feet on the ground with your knees bent. Locate your block or whatever you're using that's um, acting as your block. Bring it in between your inner thighs at the smallest setting, the skinniest width. So in between your inner thighs and as close to your pelvis as you can get it. And then feet on the ground with knees bent, heels and ankles straight down from your knees, all of your toes face forward, hips width distance apart with your feet, arms by your sides. Exhale, pull your belly button down, squeeze your block and scoop your tailbone up. Inhale, peel your spine off your mat. When you get to the top of your bridge, friends, you might kind of rock side to side, work your shoulders underneath you. Option to bring your arms into what I call robot arms. So fingers face the sky, palms face each other. And then press down a lot into the backs of your arms, into the tips of your elbows, and into the back of your head. Keep hugging your block with your inner thighs. Take about four or five slow, deep breaths as you hold here. Squeeze your block, press down through back of head, through back of arms, and press into your heels and the inner edges of your feet, especially maybe even pick up your toes, spread them apart. Or you, if you want, you can try the opposite, pick up your heels, press down into your toes. See how that changes things up or shifts where you feel the most sensation or engagement. Let's take one more great big inhale. And then as you exhale, work your shoulders out from underneath you, arms reach straight up, slowly roll it down, one vertebra at a time. Go ahead and remove your block just for a moment, feet together, knees apart. Just gently bounce your knees up and down. If this bothers your low back at all, scoot your feet further away from your upper body. Gentle little bounces. If that doesn't work for you, just stillness and big deep breaths. <clears throat> Ah, all right. Bring your feet to the ground with your knees bent once again. And then this time, yeah, let's do the same thing with our block. So same position. I don't care so much if it's close to your pelvis. So if it feels better closer to your knees, that's fine. Either way is fine. And then this time, knees stack over hips, shins parallel to the ground. Flex your toes so feet are active. Make sure your knees are closer to your chest. So you're not pulling your knees in. They're stacked right over your hips. Arms, either cactus your arms against the ground or tee them out. Take an inhale here. And then as you exhale, knees slowly over to the right. Hover them above the ground. Don't let them touch or relax down. Hold here and breathe in. And then as you exhale, squeeze your block and slowly bring your legs back to center. Inhale, center, make any adjustments you need to. So you can move your block to make it more comfortable if needed. And then exhale over to the other side, over to the left. Back to, backs of your shoulders stay rooted. Hover and hold, breathe in. And then as you exhale, squeeze your block and slowly bring your legs back to center. Inhale, center, extend your left leg straight up, right knee stays bent. And exhale, legs go right, hover and hold as far as you can go without letting your left shoulder lift, without letting your legs touch, breathe in and hold. And then as you exhale, bring it back slowly. Inhale, center, switch your legs, right leg extend, left knee bends. And then other side as you exhale, slow, 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 hover, hover, hold, inhale. Backs of your shoulders stay rooted. Exhale, back to center. Inhale, center. Both legs extend. Bend your knees as much as you need to so you're not pulling on low back. Squeeze your block. Exhale over to the right. Squeeze, hover, hold. Breathe in. Hold active through your feet. And exhale, slow motion back to center. Inhale, center. Make any little adjustments. And exhale to the left. Hover. Hold, squeeze, big inhalation as you hold. And exhale, slow motion, bring your legs back up. 
Bend your knees. We're going right into another bridge. So set yourself up, feet on the ground, knees bent, arms by your sides. Exhale, belly button draws down, tailbone scoops up, and inhale, peel your spine up. This time, if you want, maybe you interlace your fingers underneath your back. Hug in with your inner thighs. Press down through your heels, inner edges of feet, or explore. Press down through the back of your head. Breathe down into your belly. So use your breath to stretch your front body. Stretch your abdominal wall that we just worked those muscles. Now stretch them out. Soft through your face. Take one more inhale. And then stay in your bridge, but as you exhale, work your shoulders out from under you. Reach your arms straight up. Inhale here, lift your hips a little higher. Keep reaching up and exhale slow, slow, slow. Roll it down. Now remove your block and just set it to the side out of the way. Bring your feet mat width distance apart, but keep your knees bent. Keep your feet on the ground. Tee out your arms or cactus your arms and just windshield wipers from side to side. Slowly, intentionally feel down into your hips and your low back. Slower you go, the more you will feel, the more you will notice. Flex through your toes and your top knee, rather than just flopping your knees over to one side, actively work your top knee forward and down and work the back of your rib cage closer to the ground. So try not to let, as your knees go one direction, usually your opposite ribs will lift. Try to press down through your back ribs a little more. So there's so much, even in this simple movement, there's so many things you can kind of just make little adjustments or little tweaks to. And it really changes what you're feeling when you're getting out of it. So take a couple more side to side or whatever would feel good if there's something else, some other way you want to work these, feel free. Eventually, happy baby pose, no hurry. Give yourself a moment in your happy baby. Rock it out. If you feel ready, you might even uh, extend one or both legs. This is going to be just a for fun thing, okay, you guys? So don't feel like you have to do this if you don't want to. But I'm going to invite you to try coming up into a low squat balasana from happy baby. So if you want to, you can watch me do it first. I don't even know if I can, to be honest. So it will be funny, maybe. <laughs> so from our happy baby, I'm just going to start to like create a little bit of momentum. I'm going to see if I can come all the way woo, like this. I did it. It wasn't like the smoothest thing, <laughs> but however you want to get there, velocity on top of your mat. If this is not an option, if this doesn't work for you, then take a variation, take a modification, maybe just a forward fold, and that's perfectly fine. So once you're here in your low yogi squat, five deep breaths down into your hips. If you've chosen forward fold or some other variation, that's fine. Just be there, breathe into it. If you're in a low squat, try to keep your heels down if at all possible. Breathe all the way down into your groin. Last couple of rounds. Ujjayi breath. Fire it up if you lost it. Good job, you guys. And then everybody forward fold. So fingertips down. Lift your hips. You can heel toe your feet in a little closer. Hips with distance or big toes touch. Whatever you prefer. On an inhale, find your halfway lift. And then exhale, let it go. Rise all the way to stand, arms to the sky, big stretch. Exhale, hands to your heart center. Flow for a moment with your breath, inhale, reach. Exhale, dive down slowly. Lift halfway, breathe in. Exhale, plant your hands, feet back. Take your vinyasa however you want. So maybe you chaturanga on your knees. Maybe you give yourself an extra couple rounds of breath in your old heart opener, your back bend. Eventually see you back in down dog. Exhale, 
about five deep breaths in our first down dog of practice. So you can pedal out your heels. You can shift your weight from side to side. Give your head a little shake or a little nod. So feel into that length of your spine, that length through your side bodies, that connection to your center. All right, my friends, one more inhale into your down dog. Exhale, look to the top of your mat, however you want to get there, forward fold. Halfway lift, breathe in. And if you exhale, release and bow. Ha. From the press of your feet all the way back up, arms reach up. And so heart center, exhale. Inhale, reach. Just like that, one more time. Slow dive, exhale. Lift halfway, breathe in. And exhale, plant your hands, feet back, vinyasa it out your way, however you would like to. See you back in downward facing dog. All right, from your down dog, my friends, inhale your right leg to the sky, and exhale, right knee, left elbow, or as close as you can come. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee, right elbow, or armpit, get as high as you can, push the ground away. Inhale, back up, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee to your nose, scoop out your belly, and then softly step forward, low lunge. Bring your hands up to your front thigh, setting up for a balance. So setting up to balance on our right foot in a warrior three variation. So pull your belly button back towards your spine, hug your inner thighs towards midline. And when you're ready, just float your back foot off the ground as you lean forward. Strong, straight, powerful line from the crown of your head back to your heel. If you want to, you can add an arm variation. One or two more big deep breaths. Landing crescent lunge, step your left toes back, reach your arms up. Settle in, slow and steady breaths, soft through your face, strong through your legs. Take one more inhale and crescent. As you exhale, warrior two, open it up. So back heel pivots down. Front knee, make sure it's not falling in, but it's tracking open towards your pinky toe. So really wrap your right butt cheek underneath you. Settle, shoulders melt down away from your ears. Shoulders are stacked over your hips. Next, inhalation, reverse your warrior. Front palm rotates up, reach up, reach back. So right side body really long. Feel into that length of your right side. Any variation you want to take. So left hand can uh, rest on your left hip for a little support. Maybe you slide your left hand down your left leg. Maybe you reach your left arm forward behind your back. So lots of options. Last great big huge breath. Bend your front knee a lot. Come back to warrior two. Straighten your front leg. And shorten your stance. Well, maybe. It's up to you. But I like to shorten my stance about an inch or so. So setting up for triangle. So hips. My tendency is to really dip my front hip down. Try to keep your hips somewhat level and then reach forward, tip it over. Open your hips, so squeeze your outer right butt cheek. And then breathe into it, triangle. I'm reaching my left arm up. You can reach your left arm forward. You can wrap your left arm behind your back. Totally up to you. You can use that block under your right hand. You are pulling your right hip back, but try not to sink into it. So open through the left side of your heart, open through the left side of your chest. So there's still energy moving up, looking up, opening up. Take one last big deep breath in your triangle. 
from the press of your feet. Rise back up to standing. Take both arms straight up towards the sky and pivot all of your toes towards that long edge of your mat. One more big inhale. And then exhale, listen, hands behind your back, interlace your fingers, roll your shoulders back and down, shoulder blades, squeeze your spine. Maybe you find a little back bend, puff up your chest. And then exhale, lean with your heart, hinge at your hips all the way down into your wide legged fold. So if you have your hands clasped behind you, you have to use your core strength to hold you and work this pose. So without your hands on the ground to support you, can you find that connection to your center even more? Can you lift from your belly button? Lean forward so you're not rocking back into your heels. Use your core to hold you. Keep you from somersaulting forward as you bring more weight into your toes and the balls of your feet. Squeeze through your quads. Work that opening in the front of your shoulders, front of your heart. Take two more breaths. If the clasp is too much, you can always let it go, of course. Good job, my friends. If you still got your clasp, Bring your hands to low back and then release it. Halfway lift, inhale. Walk your hands forward, back to low lunge. Rotate your toes forward. Back to plank, step your front foot back. Side plank, Vashti Stasana, right hand is your foundation. Roll onto the baby toe edge of right foot. Lift your hips high, left arm to the sky. Of course, you can modify if you want to. Right knee or right forearm might come down. And then option to reach your left arm forward. So lengthen your left side. And maybe your left leg almost floats up on its own. See if you can lift it even higher. See if you can lift your hips even higher. Big deep breaths. Your personal fullest expression here. And then plank or modify. Inhale at the top. Find your strength. Spread your fingers. Push the ground away. Exhale slowly lower. Inhale. Let's take a Spider-Man Cobra. You guys know I love Spider-Man Cobra. Hands out nice and wide up on your fingertips. Inhale, lift. And then a little twist to your right as you exhale. Through center, breathe in. To your left, exhale. Inhale, center. And release. For a moment, child's pose. So sit back, hips to heels. Take some deep breaths. Notice, feel, observe. Just calm back what's moving through you. What sensations are there, pulsations. Let's rise up, just the hands and knees. Tabletop, and then from our tabletop, moving into spinal balance. Right arm forward, left leg back. So really spread your left fingers and push into your left fingertips. Draw your belly button in and up. Gaze down, back of your neck is long. Hug in with your inner thighs so you're not sinking into your outer right hip here. Take one more big inhale. Elbow to knee, slow motion. Exhale all the way to empty. Re-extend, inhale. Two more like that, all the way to empty. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, reach. Last one, like you're moving through, honey. Exhale. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, this time move towards your half bow. Right arm reaches back, left knee bends. Lift your heart. You may grab hold of your foot or your ankle. Once you've got it, hug in with your inner thighs and kick foot into hand, pull hand back into foot. Hug in with your inner thighs. Let your heart open. Breathe down into your belly. Soften your face. Last round, wherever you're at. Mm, let it go. Spinal balance. Inhale, find neutral. Exhale, let it go all the way down tabletop. All right, take your knees nice and wide. About hips with distance or a little wider than hips with distance. Left arm out and up. Inhale here. Thread it through. Exhale. So reach, 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 and then rest down. 
anywhere you want to go. So you can extend your right leg out if you want to. You can wrap your right arm behind your back if you want to. Lots of options. You do you. About three to five big deep breaths. If you happen to have your right hand or right knee lifted, bring them both back to the earth. And then on an inhalation, unthread your left arm, reach it out, reach it up, open up. And then left hand comes down. Downward facing dog. Let's take a great big inhale into our down dog. Exhale, look to the top of your mat, step or float forward, fold. Halfway lift, breathe in. Let it go, fold. From the press of your feet, rise all the way up, arms reach up, stretch. And to heart, exhale. Let's flow, arms reach up, breathe in. Slow dive all the way down. Exhale. Ah, halfway lift. Inhale. Ardha Uttanasana. And plant your hands. Feet back. Vinyasa. However you would like. See you back in down dog. You can skip it if you'd rather. All right. Ujjayi breath. Inhale your left leg to the sky. Exhale, left knee, right elbow, or just as close as you can come. Push the ground away. Inhale, back up. Three legged dog, left to left, as high as you can get on your arm. Inhale, back up, lengthen. Knee to nose. Exhale, you're stepping over something. Step through. Low lunge, hands to your front thigh. So preparing for our balance, hug in with inner thighs, belly button draws back towards your, towards your spine. So it's like you're popping up your low back almost. And then as you're ready, just lean forward and back foot floats off the ground. Your hips stay square, your spine stays long. You're connected to your center. If you want, you can add some arms at any point. Back legs strong, like you're stomping your foot onto an invisible wall behind you. Take one or two more rounds, your fullest expression. Doesn't matter what it looks like, feel what it feels like. Come back to crescent lunge, that's where we'll end up. Take a moment to settle, find stability through your legs, lift your heart, maybe lift your gaze. Slow deep breaths. One more inhale. And open it up, warrior two, exhale, back heel pivots down. Front heel or front knee is tracking toward your pinky toe, don't let it collapse inward. Breathe in and find your reverse warrior, front palm rotates up, reach up and back, keep that deep bend in your front knee, lengthen through your left side, tone through your low belly. Any variation you wanna take, more than welcome, it doesn't have to be what you did on the other side. And let's come back up through center, through warrior two. Straighten your front leg, setting up triangle. So like your right hip is being pulled back or held back, so you don't want to come with you. Right hip stays back, left hip pulls back, reach forward, and then just tip it over. Left hand to the ground or a block or your shin, right arm to the sky or Maybe right arm forward, right arm might wrap behind you. So you do you, always. Heart open, hips open. Feel the little tiny adjustments that can give you more efficiency in the pose. So you're holding yourself without straining or forcing anything. Take about two more rounds. It's 
Claw through your face. Next time you inhale, press into your V and make it all the way back up the stand. Arms reach up, parallel your feet. So all of your toes now face the long edge of your mat. Inhale. And then this time, just take it down into your wide-legged straddle and anywhere you would like to go. So without your hands clasped, where would you like to take this? No right or wrong. Five to seven breaths. Good job, you guys. Last couple. Sign out your mouth if you want to. Uh... With your next inhale, come up to a halfway lift position, fingertips on the ground. And then walk your hands forward, rotate your toes forward so you're back to a low lunge. Step your front foot back so you're in a plank position. And then side plank, this time left hand is your base. Roll into the baby toe edge of left foot, right arm up. Of course, take a different variation on this side if you want to, if you need to, if you feel like it. Otherwise, lift your hips really, really, really high, maybe right arm forward. Maybe right leg floats up, maybe not. It's totally up to you. Hips high, big spacious breath, soft through your face, not straining, not forcing, holding yourself with your breath one more round. And then plank or modify. Inhale at the top of your push up. Slowly lower down. Lift your heart, any back bend of your choice. Inhale. And whenever you're ready, child, pose it out. Sit back and rest. Big deep breaths, grounding breath. And tabletop position, hands and knees. All right, so from hands and knees, let's take left arm forward and right leg back. Strong, straight, powerful line. Palm faces in, thumb faces up like you're going to shake somebody's hand. Inner thighs face one another. Try not to sink into your outer left hip. Take one more inhale. It's like you're moving through molasses, elbow to knee, round your back, push into the ground with your right fingertips. Inhale, right, extend, lengthen. Again, like that, elbow to knee underneath, you curl in, hollow out, empty out. Inhale, get long, strong, and powerful. And last time, elbow to knee. Inhale, reach. And then half bow, left arm reaches back, right knee bends, lift your heart. You stay here if you want to, or grab hold once you've got it. Gentle leverage, kick foot into hand, pull hand back into foot, hug in with your inner thighs. Breathe right down into your belly, soften your face. Try not to sink into your outer left hip. One last big, huge, full body breath. And slow release, back to neutral, spinal balance. Inhale, and sit everything down, exhale. Knees, hips with distance are a little bit wider. Right arm out to the right, all the way up. Inhale here. And thread it through as you exhale. Come down, rest gently outside of shoulder, outside of head, and anywhere you want to take it on this side. Breathe. Take about three more. Mm 
And if you happen to have your left knee or your left hand lifted, bring them both back to the ground. On an inhale, unthread your right arm, reach it out and up, open up. Mm, and set your right hand down. Downward facing dog. Walk it out for a moment. Take a great big inhale. Exhale, look to the top of your space, step, tiptoe, or hop forward, fold. Halfway lift as you breathe in. Exhale, release, and fold. Rise all the way up. Arms reach up and stretch, inhale. Hands to heart, exhale. Let's flow, reach up, breathe in. Dive down, breathe out. Lift halfway, inhale. And plant your hands, feet back, vinyasa, however you would like. See you back in downward facing dog. All right, right leg to the sky, pigeon pose, right shin forward, set your body down gently. So right knee towards the outer right edge of your mat, pull right hip back, left hip forward, plug those femur bones in the hip sockets. Keep pulling your right hip back and even up, imagine your right butt cheek is, has a rope attached, it's pulling up towards the sky. So right butt cheek goes back and up, heart goes forward and down. About seven to 10 rounds here. Really settle in. Take about three or four more side after mouth at any time. You might visualize your breath moving down into your right hip, creating more space there. Take one last round, everybody. And then if your exhale, start to lift your upper body and we're going to come into a seated position. So just kind of let your hips open as you sit over onto your right butt cheek and then swing your left leg around. Both legs out in front of your body. Give them a nice little shake out. Okay, I guess what we're doing since it's core. We're doing more core right now, you guys. Oh my gosh, I hate core. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Sometimes I feel like it's just fun to complain for some reason. So we're gonna go for a boat pose. If boat pose is not your forte, like it's not my forte, maybe you bring your hands behind you to help you from rocking back onto your tailbone. So you wanna stay balanced on your sit bones, heart open, lift it. Hug in with your inner thighs if it helps. You can use a block, squeeze your block with your inner thighs. Maybe you even extend your legs, totally fine with me. You can stay here and hold the way you are, hold and breathe, or take one more inhale. As you exhale, low boat. So your upper body, your lower body, hover, navel to spine. Inhale, high boat, lift. Woo. Exhale, low boat, hold, hover. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower, hover, squeeze. Navel to spine, inhale, lift. And lower, three more, lift, and lower, navel to spine.
spine. Inhale, lift. And lower. We're gonna hold here. Hover. Hover. Enable the spine. Low back towards the ground. Take one more round. Everybody let everything go. Full body stretch. Set your block to the side if you were using one. Arms long, legs long. You might shake it out. Get down into your belly. Breathe and let your abdominal wall stretch. Hug your knees in, rock side to side. And then we're going to find our way back to down dog. So you can find your own way there or option to come with me. Rock and roll forward and back a few times. And then eventually you'll rock up, cross your ankles, point your hands, step back or hop back. Up to you. Move through a vinyasa or skip it. And meet your back in, downward facing dog. No hurry getting there. As for you, Barb, boat closing it out for Barb today. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. Downward facing dog, ujjayi breath. Walk it out. Inhale, your left leg to the sky. If it would feel good, you might open your hip up. That's what I'm going to do. Whenever you're ready, pigeon pose. So set yourself up with just as much intention, attention, care, awareness as you did on the other side. And breath by breath, settle in. Keep your front toes in some way active, like you're trying to spread them so you don't pull on your knee or your ankle joint. Take about three to five more rounds. Visualize your breath moving down into your left hip. Your last round, let's inhale as big as we possibly can. Extra sip if you want at the top. Send it down into your left hip and then let it go. <sighs> Slowly begin to lift your upper body. Coming into a seat nice and easy, mindfully. Sit onto your left butt cheek and just kind of whoop, swing your legs around, give them a nice little shake out. And this time, it's just going to be a little more playful. So it's like a happy baby sitting on the ground or balancing on our sit bones, I should say. So reach down and grab the outer edges of your feet just like you would in happy baby. And then just like we do in boat, we're going to try to balance on our sit bones while finding our happy baby pose. Ugh. So heart lifts. Spine long, not rounded. Pull back with your arms, press forward through your heels, stay here. Or see if you can start to work one or both legs forward straight, like you're in a wide-legged straddle balancing on your sit bones, wide-legged ah, 
so hard. See, I just round my back. Try to pull your shoulders back, lift your heart, and just be playful. Every time I do this in class, the whole class is doing it, and I'm like struggling so hard. So it's okay. Meet yourself where you're at. Take two more rounds. And then guess what we're going to do, just like we did at the beginning? We're going to find our way down onto our backs. Happy baby, pose it out on your back. Explore on your back if you want. Extend one or both legs. Find neutral spine while you're on your back. Traction out your spine while you're on your back. And from here, my friends, let's just bring our feet to the ground with our knees bent. Bring your feet wide, not with distance. Let your knees fall in so the outer edges of your feet can lift. Bring one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly, close your eyes or soft gaze. And just take a moment. This is constructive rest pose. So just take a moment not to do anything, to rest, but to feel whatever there is to feel in your body and to feel the space down in your low back and your pelvic bowl. Maybe visualize your breath moving into that space. And so just feel the ground underneath you and the support it offers you. Slow down your breath if it's sped up at all or if you've lost track of it at all, bring it back. And if you're feeling so good here and you're like, I just want to stay here, stay here. Otherwise, one more heart opener. So Another uh, bridge pose is absolutely welcome. I'm going to move into a full upward facing bow, a full back bend. So if you want to come with me, you can, but please don't push your body into something it doesn't want to do or it's not ready for right now. So um, bridge pose, your variation of bridge pose, your exploration of bridge pose, perfect. Totally fine. If you want to come with me into full back bend. Hands outside of your ears, fingertips face back towards your shoulders. And I can't quite press my hands down yet, but just make sure your fingertips are facing back. And then feet are rooted, hips with distance. I'm going to push down and just come up onto the top of my head. And then from here, I'm really going to hug my elbows in and point them up as I press up. I'm wide in my hands a little bit. Oh my gosh, I never do back bends anymore, you guys. Feeling it. Press your heart forward, soften your face, hug in with your inner thighs and make sure you can breathe wherever you're at about three to five rounds. Notice where your imbalances are and see if you can adjust. When you feel like you have had enough, ease your way down and out nice and mindfully. Don't rush it. Either windshield wipers or any other variation of a supine twist or any other movements to neutralize after your back bend. For me, I'm going to go windshield wipers and then make fists with my hands and just roll out my wrists. Mm. And then eventually, you guys, no rush, take your time. But eventually, we'll end up back in that constructive rest pose again. Feet wide, knees together. And your choice with your hands, your arms. Once you're in constructive rest, just let your breath start to slow down and dissipate. Let your body really give in to gravity. Mm. 
I'm going to say if there are any other movement stretches, poses that you feel like you want to move through to complete your own practice. Give yourself about 10 rounds. And then everybody, after about 10 more rounds, if you're not already there, find your way into your final resting pose. So maybe you want to take it in constructive rest pose. More than welcome to do so. Otherwise, just slowly find your way into whatever position you want to relax in today. No rush. All right, so eventually just find your final relaxation and you might even give yourself like one great big huge falling out breath. So big huge inhale and then just side out your mouth. Uh, And since we have all women here today, I'm going to read you this reading. It's by one of my favorite poets, Ali Michelle. And it's about being a woman. As you come to rest, just take in these words, let what resonates just kind of soak in. What doesn't, just let it go. I have known women who have given up every comfort to dance alone under the night sky, unbothered by watchful eyes. Women who have stolen moments from their busy lives just to create, sit at the pottery wheel and feel wor worlds of clay spun beneath their fingertips. I have known women who will put on red lipstick just to write and seduce the muse. I have known women who have sacrificed their sanity, clawed tooth and nail to not just climb towards success, but disrupt the system altogether with a wicked grin on their face. I have known women who have said to hell with your timelines and pressures, who have chosen a quiet life of growing herbs in the woods with wild, unruly hair. I have known women who have tipped their head back and howled in triumph as they gave birth bringing life into the world while fighting an illness. I have known soft women and strong women and beautiful women and smart women, women who have walked through the hell within themselves and emerged with a fire in their eyes, knowing heaven was in their wild hearts the whole time. Women who remind me of what it means to be a woman. For these last few moments, just feel into your body, feel into the space inside of you, feel into what it feels like in your body to be a woman, to connect to your feminine. No right or wrong, no preconceived ideas of what it has to mean or what it should mean or what it's supposed to mean, but just feeling into all of you and who you are and what you embody. Just melting into that space inside of you for these last few moments of class.
take a deep breath in and let it go. Let it flow out your fingers, your toes, the crown of your head. And start to just slowly wiggle, bring small movements back into your body, little stretches. Eventually roll to either side, fetal position, take a couple breaths or so there. And then no rush, but eventually just use your arms to guide yourself up into seated meditation. Sit up tall, close your eyes, gather your hands to your heart, bow your head to your heart and acknowledge yourself, thank yourself, taking time out of your day to slow down and connect to your body, to your breath, something deeper inside of you. Thank you so much for letting me guide you. Namaste. Okie dokie, artichokies. Thank you, thank you. Obviously, I mean, I think it goes without saying, but just in case, I won't be here on Thursday, or Kim won't for Thanksgiving. But um, if any of you want to come to my class at Mosaic at 9.15 a.m., I'm teaching on Thanksgiving. Just throw them out there. Okay. Mwah. Thanks. You're welcome. Happy Thanksgiving. Have a wonderful holiday. You too. Thank you.